Aloha from Oahu. Today is a perfect day for vlog number 19. And vlog number 19 is just because you're on somebody's team doesn't mean that they're on your team. And I was driving down uh, the Kamehameha Highway and I'm like, I'm gonna stop and shoot a vlog today. Cause like, look at this. Perfect day, perfect day to talk about sales. And so there's a couple aspects to what's going on here. And the first warning, first warning I wanna give you is, you know, just cause you're on somebody's team doesn't mean that they're on your team. And especially if you're in a large organization and especially if that company lives by numbers, you're gonna find that there are people that you would think are teammates. Oh, the sun's coming back out. You can see it shining off my dome. There are people that you think that are your teammates that they're not. And what happens is they look for every weakness that you have to exploit it, to cause problems for you. So let's just say that there's one type of sales call that you don't want to run. Or let's just say that there's certain people that you don't like dealing with in a sales process. It may be that like, you know, you sell houses and you don't want to buy, sell flip homes, okay? But you, you're in a big organization and, and somebody on that team finds out a little piece of something that irritates you and now they have something to dig at you with. Now they have some leverage over you. Now they have the ability to do something that hurts you and that could take away from how many deals you close. And for them, that's a win. That's a victory. Because just remember, just because you're on somebody's team doesn't mean that they're on your team. And so what they'll do is they'll do everything they can to get underneath your skin and sabotage you and create some problems for you, okay? So you've got people out in the field that you work with. Now, the second layer of this is people, if you work in an office, the people in your office can do the same thing. And you know, I made the mistake, and I'm gonna keep this very vague, but at one point in my life, I was not doing well. There were some emotional things going on in my life, and I told a, a person, <laughs> I'm just gonna say a person, and this person did everything they could to hurt me and to break me and to create problems for me. And it, it complicated my situation that I was having. And this person was not a good person and I thought they were. I thought this person was a friend and they weren't a friend. So you got one, you got the coworkers that you work with that if they find out that you have something that really bothers you, they can figure a way to exploit it and cause some problems. The second layer of this is the office, right? That's, that's something else. Now, third, sometimes I'll meet with um, salespeople and I'll ride with them and they'll talk to the buyer and they'll talk to them about, you know, the different things that bother them in the sales process. And sometimes there's things that you're better off just not talking about. Sometimes there's things that you're better off holding in or paying a therapist for so that they're the only person hearing your secrets. And, you know, uh, I see this happen. It's not something that happens like a ton, but it is something that happens, especially when salespeople are struggling. They're not paying attention to what they're saying. They're just stream of consciousness and they're throwing everything out there. Be careful about what you say because people, there are some evil people out there and they'll do everything they can to use it against you. Sun's coming out. Oh, so much better, but you still got the shine off my dome. Okay, there are some people out there that, that create some issues for you and create some problems and you just gotta know, it's it, they're not nice people. So just my fair warning to you, be careful about the employees that you tell what you're struggling with. Be careful the the coworkers that are in the office and be careful sometimes what you say because just because you're on somebody's team doesn't mean they're on yours. And some, you know what? Oh, hoo -hoo. sometimes I've seen where people say, hey, can you turn my paperwork in for me? And uh, the difference in the deals is gonna put one guy over the other. I saw this one time, I didn't see this happen a lot. But just like one time where the person said, okay, I'll turn it in and never turned it in, right? Especially in a competitive team, like you can't always trust, you want to, you want to, you can't always trust the people that you're with and you're around because not all the time are they gonna tell the truth. So you got one thing to do from here, just one thing, find the, the subscribe button down here in like the box below and hit subscribe and every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. And you're like, hey Scott, are you really out on Oahu? Let me take this off of uh, 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 right, the tripod and we'll take a 360 view around me. Right, This is Kualoa Park, so we're starting to get towards the North Shore of Oahu. And right back there across the road is where they filmed Jurassic Park and other movies. And what has happened is the shore has eroded. They used to have these beautiful palm trees that you could take pictures with. There's still some right there, right there. But they've cut a bunch of them down. And then that's uh, what the locals here call Chinaman's Hat. But today is a beautiful day. Got the bay. Look at that right there. I'm out here on a Saturday morning. So there you go. I really am on Oahu. Couldn't have faked that with a green screen. We'll see you soon. Aloha.